describe is Vidra. Um, and I, I'm pretty lucky, and so is Jackie, that we were brought up traditionally. We lived on a camp and, in Yumba in my language, um, Vidra language, uh, with a group of um, our relatives, and there's about 12 um, families that lived around the Yumba. I grew up in a kid hunt on an open fire. And today I'm enriched, and so I pass that on to my children. I have five children and eight grandchildren. And I'm very lucky uh, in these days we don't have that culture anymore because our families lose their, their culture. And also, I was brought up with a mum and dad who were married, and they were both Vidra, and they got married in a church. So we're pretty lucky um, that when there was no welfare in those days, uh, my dad had to go, when um, he used to go out, he was a stockman, and he used to take all of us, there was eight kids and my mum, out to the cattle stations because he was, used to work on the stations. Um, when we didn't have any food, um, my dad had to take us out to hunt. So, um, and I'm pretty lucky. Um, when I moved to Melbourne, uh, when my children were small, I used to send my children back home so that they could learn the culture. And today, the gathering place focuses a lot on culture and, um, and we're very proud that what we had and what we've learnt, uh, we brought it into the gathering place. I just want to introduce my daughter, uh, it's Jackie, uh, Jackie Marion. Um, she's our chair, um, who also works for Victoria Police. She's been with Victoria Police now for the last six year, seven, six, years. seven years. She's a state coordinator for the ACLO program. And I just want to say, without her support, um, she's my shadow, uh, but without her, we wouldn't be um, where the gathering place is today, um, you know, without that support and um, the team from the gathering place and Nihal and without their support and without Jackie, uh, the gathering place wouldn't be a success where it is today. The gathering place outreach health service in Wyndham that was launched on the 19th of May of 2009. That's some of our um, participants that's in the healing program and that's Reg at the end, he's our, our elder. Um, yeah, and some of these clients that we've been working with, they've been addicted to drugs for over 30 years. By using the Gemba system and ex existing, our existing quality plans and data reports flow into the new D DHS standards because I think that's really, really important for us. If we're, if we're going to be accountable uh, to government bodies and everything like that, we, we've got to make sure. Uh, this is all our allied health services that we have with the gathering place. And let me tell you, we cannot do uh, what we're doing at the moment uh, without the, um, the support from all our, um, all our mainstream services.